Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we're continuing our mail merge project in Google Sheets with the help of Google Apps Script and its service Gmail app. Just a quick summary of what we have done. We have a list of customers or students or suppliers or whatever with a first name, a last name and an email. Then we have an HTML template where we can customize the first name, the last name, and we can send it to the particular email. We also customize the subject and the message that is not HTML or an accessibility issue. If someone doesn't have the possibility to read an HTML message, if it is successful, then it fills this cell or this column with the word sent and in the next column we fill the date where it was sent. This is what we have done in the past two videos. What we're going to do today is to use this feature we did in the last video in order to help us when we need to send a lot of emails. What do I mean? We've already sent these emails. I don't want to send them again. I don't want to send my customers emails every day or every hour. I just want to send the ones that I haven't sent. This is particularly useful for when we have a thousand emails and the quota for personal accounts, it's a hundred daily. So if I have a thousand emails, it's going to send a hundred today. And tomorrow, if I don't put this condition, then the next day it's going to send to the same hundred and the next day the same. But if we put this condition today, it's going to send to this hundred tomorrow to the next hundred. And in five days I've sent to my 500 contacts. I'm going to remove some of this for the first tests. Let's copy them and delete them with a, an additional four it's enough so it's very easy now going to our code what we've done again we've done two functions mail merge and mail to current row and we've linked them to this menu where we can run the mail merge or send emails to current row and they look very very simple but what they're doing is this mail merge function is going row by row and calling the function send email for each row. And in mail to current row, it's getting the active cell and the active row and it's sending the email to this active row. What my send email function does is get the data, the email, the first name and the last name with my config sheet. It's getting the subject, it's getting the message with my HTML message, it's setting up the HTML message and then with the with those three things the email the message and the subject it tries to send it and if it's successful then it confirms it by filling the column four with the word sent and the column five with the date that's it so what we're going to change is that it's only going to send it if here it doesn't say sent that's it so we're not going to do it in our main functions, but in our send email function. Here, I'm going to get another variable that it's called sent. SS, get range, the same as above, active row, but in the column, four, gets the value. And we're only going to do all this if variable sent if the value of the variable sent is sent so we do this with a if conditional we say if my variable sent equals in quotation marks to the word sent then i'm going to do all this so i'm going to copy this up to here and paste it inside my conditional and that's it. Actually, it's not equals, it's different than. So I'm going to change this first equal sign to an exclamation sign. This means 
that all, it will only send it if what if this cell here doesn't say sent so that if I try to run here my send email to current row let's go to our sent and let's update and it hasn't sent it but if I go here to Noah Anderson and I do my run my current row apparently it did send it so let's go here and it did send it to no anders and if i do my run my mail merge the idea is that it's not going to send this these four but these three so let's do a run mail merge and it should have sent only three emails let's update and here are my three emails olivia Oliver and Elijah. Okay. And if I try to do it once more, my run mail merge, it's not going to do anything. So actually, this is the second part of the video I wanted to do is to put some messages. If it hasn't sent anything here, then it should put an alert message where it says no messages were sent or something like that. So this we're going to do it in our mail merge. What we're going to do is make our send email function return a value so that we know here in, a, in our other functions to know if it was successful when it sent it or not. Let's start with this mail to current row. So in my send email, I'm going to, once it sends the email and it writes the date, then I'm going to return an OK. And here, Let's log what my send email returns. I'm going to save. Here I pasted some new names. I'm going to stand here in this row. I'm going to send send email to current row. And let's go to our executions. And here you can see that it logged. Okay. So now I'm going to say that if this send email active row, it's okay. Then we can alert a message with this spreadsheet app, get UI dot alert. And actually I can put this at the end. And here what I'm going to change is my text variable. If it's okay, my text variable will be and if not, then my text will be you weren't able to send an email to the current row. Let's see. So again, if I delete this and try to send it, you successfully sent an email to the current row. And if I try again, you weren't able to send an email because I have this in place that doesn't let me send the email. And now let's do this for the mail merge. Very similar. I'm going to put this in some brackets, but I'm not going to do it mail by mail because I don't want to have a message for each one it sends. What I'm going to do is count how many it has sent. I'm going to define a variable called count sent. We're going to start in zero. And here I'm going to do an if that if similar to below, if send email row equals to okay, then count sent will be incremented in one. And that's it. And at the end, my text will be you've successfully sent these many messages, whatever count sent says, says. And finally, we're going to do the same thing as here. I'm going to do an alert with my text. So let's see. If I run my mail merge, I should send these two. So let's do run mail merge. 
it sent it and it says you've successfully sent two messages. Now, if I run my mail merge again, it will not send any message. And my alert will be you've successfully sent zero messages. So I don't like this, this message. So we can be a bit more specific. We can say if by the end of my uh, loop count sent is zero. So here, if count sent equals to zero, then my variable will be different. So I'm going to, uh, as, as in here, I'm going to define my variable above. And here I'm just going to assign it to a text. If count sent equals to zero, then my text will be, there were no messages. There were no messages to be sent, to be sent. And if not, if count sent is greater than zero, then my message will be this one. Given that it's only one line, I could remove my brackets. So my code, my code looks better. That's it. Also here I could, I could remove my brackets if I want. Let's save. And let's try to run again when I don't have any messages to send. Perfect. Just one last thing before we go, and is to know how many messages I have left to send. Remember that if I have a personal account, I have only 100 mails to send daily. And if I have a workspace account, I have 1,500, if I'm not mistaken. So what I can do is once I've sent all my emails, I can run a function that it's not in the Gmail app, but in the mail app. And it's called get remaining daily quota. And I could put it in a quota variable. And here at the end. So to my text, I'm going to add with this plus equal. This means that we're going to, to the text we already have, we're going to add something. So the first thing we're going to add is a line break. And then we're going to put the message. You've got these many mails left for sending. You've got mails left in your, in your daily quota. That's it. Let's save and let's run. Given that I used the mail app service that I haven't used before, I need to give some additional permissions. I'm going to run it again. And here it says you've got 64 mails left in your daily quota. I put this wrong. It's with another symbol is with the inverse with this one. Let's save again and let's run again. Perfect. It looks much, much better. There were no messages left to be sent and you've got 64 mails left in your daily quota. That's it. It looks actually pretty great. There's one thing left and we can try it in the next video also. If we have 150, there's going to be an error when it tries to send 101. So maybe we can optimize our messages to know what went wrong and how many messages were sent and how many were left out, something like that. This is one thing. And the other thing we're left to, to do in the next one is to send some attachments and to optimize this a bit further. So that's it. I think it looks better each time. Please let me know what should we do next. And as always, if you like this video, you can go to my Patreon page and download the templates or just support me. Or you can just subscribe and hit the notifications button so you know when there's a new video each week. Thank you so much. See you next time.